Hi, how are you? I'm Paulette, and today we're going to do a warrior flow. So tapping into your inner warrior and your inner strength. And so I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Making your way onto your sits bones. And I'm going to sit on my blanket. You can sit on a block. You can also sit on your mat. And coming into a comfortable seat, bringing your palms onto your knees. And let's just start to roll through the spine. Circling, opening up the lower back. Opening up the hips. And let's slowly reverse it. Going in the opposite direction. And let's come back to center. And just gently stretching out the neck, so bringing the right hand to the outside of the head. And just stretching the left side of the neck gently. And coming back to center and left hand. Opening up the right side of the neck. And release. Let's make our way out the hands and knees so you can have your knees on your blanket or you can move the blanket off to the side if you don't need it. And so I really encourage you to listen to your body and make whatever variations work for you so that you don't feel like you're overdoing, overstretching, and I'll be doing that too, so I'll be showing you um, my adjustments. And so coming on to hands and knees, and let's go ahead and take the right knee on top of the left, and then sitting back onto your heels or towards your heels, stretching up the lower back just a little bit more. Inhale, coming back up, and let's take left over right. Inhale, back to center, coming into table, and then move it through cow and cat. And as we come into cow, arching the spine and drawing the heels of the palms towards the knees, as if you're really dragging them back. And then exhale, rounding the spine and moving the palms away from the knees as if you're trying to rip the mat in half. And inhaling. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhaling. And inhale and arriving back at a neutral spine. Let's curl the toes under, pressing into down dog. You can pedal out the feet, opening up the calves. And then starting by lifting the left leg up, pointing through the toe, inhaling, and exhale, bend the knee, step the foot in between the palms, grounding down through the outer edge of the back foot, and inhaling into warrior two. So you can go into a ninja style like me, right, like the matrix. <laughs> Deep bend in that front knee, and then inhale, we're going to drop the right palm down the back of the right Thigh, inhale the left arm up, opening up the left ribs, and exhale, extended angle. Releasing that right palm down, lifting the back heel up, and let's twist to the left, lifting the left arm up. And then releasing the left palm comes down, stepping the left foot back and plank, and you can come through knees, chest, and chin, chaturanga, or right into down dog. So I'm going to move through knees, chest, and chin, because that's how my body's feeling. And then Bhujangasana, or up dog. And then curling the toes under and pressing back into down dog. Good. Inhale, let's lift the right leg up. Point through the toe. Bend the knee, step it in between the palms. Ground down through the outer edge of the left foot. 
and inhale as you do warrior style, right? Ninja style into warrior two. And then inhaling, reverse your warrior, exhale, extended angle, release the left palm down, flip the back heel up, and come into your twist. A deep breath in. Exhale, release that right palm comes down, right foot comes back, and then again, you come down the way you feel is right for your body. And then from down dog, you can walk, step, or float the feet in between the palms. I'm going to take the step option. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, with the knees bent, we're going to roll up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Circle the arms, and exhale into Mountain Tadasana Pose. Okay, so moving through Utkatasana, bend the knees, jutting the butt way back, bringing the weight into the heels, arms lift like two lightning bolts. Good, deep breath in, take the hips a little bit lower, and exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, let's step the right foot back, ground down through the outer edge of that foot, and inhale, warrior one, nice strong warrior. Good, deep breath in, and exhale, release the palms, step the left foot back, move through your vinyasa, Deep breath in, let's lift the right leg up, bend the knee, step in between the palms, ground down through the outer edge of that back foot, and inhale, warrior one on this side. Good, deep breath in, exhale, release the palms, step the right foot back, and move through in your way. It feels good to your body. And then, Arriving in down dog. Walk, step, or float your feet. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And inhale, and slowly rise up the spine. So there might be one spot where you feel like it gets a little stuck. So pause there. And then continue to roll up the spine. So for me, it's my lower back in this middle area, my abdomen. So we're going to go ahead and do that in the reverse. So rolling from the top of the head, down through the spine, and coming back into Uttanasana. Stepping the right foot back. Coming into lunge and then bending that right knee, planting the right palm down and extending the left leg back. So coming into gate pose. Now, staying here, or if you'd like to, you can lower that back foot, extend that right leg, and come into Vashistasan. If stacking the feet isn't working for you, you can. Stagger one foot in front of the other, or you can stay on your right knee. And then lifting that hip up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release that left palm back down, come back into your plank. Dropping the left knee this time. Inhaling, lifting the right arm up. So gate on this side. And then staying right here, this feels good. Or Vashistasan. And stack the feet or stagger. And then maybe sending that right arm up and over the head. Deep breath in, lift the hip, and exhale, release. Come back into your plank. Again, moving through your vinyasa. So let's make our way into Balasana Child's Pose. Ever since I had my right, my left hip replaced, I've had to make 
certain adjustments to my poses. So let's inhale, let's come up. So if you're more flexible than me, feel free to, to go ahead and move into the shape that feels good for your body. And from here, walk, step, or float the feet. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Okay, so from here, taking one of your blocks, bringing it to the outside of your left foot. If you don't have a block, you can use maybe a thick book, but you don't even need a block. Some of you might not even need one. So bringing that block there, we're gonna go ahead and lift that right leg, bring in the right palm to the inside of the right hip. And that serves as a really nice guide to stacking the right hip on top of the left. And then from here, if you'd like, you can extend the right arm up and over the head. And then exhale, releasing that right palm, releasing the left palm, coming into your standing split on the side. And then from here, we're gonna bring the weight into that left foot, left leg, and slowly lift into warrior three, your Vajrasana three. A couple of options, you can bring the arms up and over the head, you can bring the arms down to the sides, or you can keep the palms in prayer in the center of your chest. And then release, palms come down, standing split one more time, Step that right foot way back into your lunge. Step the left foot back into plank. And then you can knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. And down dog. Inhale, let's step the right foot forward. So bend the knee, step it forward. Bring the block over to the right or the book or not, right, you don't need to use a block, and then slowly lifting that left leg up, left palm to the inside of the left hip, stacking one hip on top of the other. Feel free to move your, your block to where you need it to be, and then the left arm can lift. So you can go ahead and bend the knee, grab hold of the top of the foot, or maybe come into a balance. And then release. Come back into your standing split. And then step that left foot way back. Step that left or right foot back into plank, and then you can make your way into more. Vinyasa. And so from here, let's step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, left foot to the outside of the left hand, drop the sits bones down into Malasana, squat, and then lower the sits bones all the way down onto your mat. So, I don't know if you're sweating and winded like I am, but definitely am. So from here, keeping the knees bent, we're going to slowly come down. And then extending the legs into canoe. Inhale, bring the legs up, maybe extend the legs or keeping the knees bent in Navasana. And exhale, release it down into canoe. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, canoe. Good, one more time. Canoe, and then slowly lower it all the way down. Whew. Bending the knees, bringing the heels in towards the sits bones. And 
So there's a little arch in the lower back. Let's slowly lower that down. And it's like you're pressing the lower back down onto the mat. And inhale, release it, exhale, press it down. Inhale, release, exhale, press. And release. Let's press it down. And then from here, we're going to start to lift the hips, make our way into bridge. Round out through the heels. And slowly lower it down. This time we have some options. We can lift the hips. But let's start by really grounding down that lower back, taking the arch out of the spine. And then inhale, lift. And this is fine. Or if you like, you can start to walk the shoulders underneath the body and interlace the fingers. That just brings the hip up a little higher. If you like, you can even come up onto the tippy toes. Or another option is to lift the arms up and over the head. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, lower it. So last time, yogi's choice, you choose what version of bridge you'd like to do. Rounding down, taking the arch out of the lower spine. Inhale, lifting the hips. And finding your version, what's working for your body today. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, start to lower down. If the fingers are clasped, you can release them. Move the shoulders out of the way and draw the lower back onto the mat. And then let's cross the right leg over the left, taking the knees over to the right. You can bring the arms up and over the head. Stretch out the whole body. A deep breath in. And exhale, bring the knees back to center, uncross the legs, cross the left over the right, and bring the knees over towards the left. You can turn the head towards the right, just to come a little deeper into the stretch. Good, and inhale, come back to center, uncross the legs, draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug, bringing the forehead in, Good exhale, release. <sighs> and bending the knees. And let's take our roll over to the right. Take our body to the right. And coming back up to where we started. You can place a blanket underneath your sits bones or block. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit stretched out a little bit looser, a little more relaxed. Let's take the arms up and over the head. And exhale, bring the palms down in front of the heart. And namaste.